Hello and welcome back to Las Vegas, site to race number 13 in the halfway point of the regular season here for the Cofinella Cup Series for 2008. And alongside me once again, as he has all season, is Stephen Paul III. Yeah, I'm back from the uh, gamble at the casino. It's ready to call this mm -hmm. race. As on the pole today will be Johnny Gardner and starting alongside will be the 01 of Pretty Shaw. Road to... Oh, shoot. I tried to move my... <laughs> This is what I get for trying to move my mouse pad. There goes the Coke Vanilla. Yep, exactly. You know it. <laughs> um, so, row two, we'll see the dual winners, Sam Young and Sky Commons. Row three, Alexander Rowe, Peter Onjak, with Jeffrey White and the defending champion, Mark George, in row four. Row five, we'll see William Brockstar alongside Jessica Shelton. Here's the rest of Stein Grizz. I hand over to Stephen for his thoughts and predictions. So uh, there's a few notes I got to make. We found out Zorline won a uh, truck race here a few seasons ago, so he might definitely be a favorite. Sam Young dominate. He won the duel. He pulled away big time, and he won the truck race yesterday, so he's definitely going to be a favorite into this one. Uh, Allie Nelson ties Tom Girard's record. She's four away from the all-time well, record. Of she ties the mark that Tom, she ties the Tom. amount of starts that Mark uh, that Tom Girard had before winning. This was the other mark right here. So the 83 and the 84. Pollard is in the 83 because 83 because the 84 is pretty high. So if Kyderman craps the bed, it's not going to hurt us too bad. And uh, got to have to make some deals to keep four guys in here. So Kyderman's got to make the top. He's 97 out of the top 30. And he's on the top 10 of the best cars here. So the best for, uh, finish for a replacement drive was fourth by Kyle Matthews in the 89 at Pocono in season four. So, Pollard talked over the command, actually. <laughs> there was a lot to go over, all right? <laughs> as the field rolls off, uh, Max Anderson comes in as the points leader by 11 points over Mary Shelley. Chris Wilson is 109 back, third in points, and those are the only drivers you can leave here as the points leader. Drivers, start your engines. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you could still hear it. It's just you were talking at the same time as it. Uh, rest oh. of the top 10 coming in are Ryan George, Henry Sanford, Isaac Flickinger, Adam Flickinger, Alexander Rowe, Zach Rogers, and Jessica Shelton. Uh, two more points. I expect pretty shot to drop like a rock. And I don't know if this might be the first time Max Anderson has never made a start at Las Vegas. And I don't think a points leader has entered a track that it's, we don't run. I don't know how to word it, but a track that wouldn't be so familiar for their first time. Mm-hmm. So, uh, with that said, Max Anderson, Mary Shelley, Chris Wilson, um, Ryan George, and Anderson, Shelley, Wilson, uh, Isaac Flickinger, Rowe will be onboard cameras today. I'm going to yeah. try and remember that. We'll just only carry five today. As the pace car is off, field under control of Johnny Gardner and the GoDaddy Chevrolet. And the Shell Pennzoil 400 is green. Good uh, yep, start for we... the 01. That was a great start for the 01. Uh, Sam Young is trying to pull Isaac Flickinger's thing, pulling, trying to win the triple this week. Uh, yeah, Sam Young has not lost yet this weekend, so watch yeah. out for that 34. Yeah, uh, depending when we go to New Ham upload New Hampshire, he might be on a roll. Well, and look at this, going for the race lead into turn number one or oh. turn number three. It's going to be Gardner that pulls out in front of him, though, as they come off turn four. Three wide Gardner. behind him, William Brock, Gene Sanford, and I can't quite tell who it is. It's Gardner who will lead lap one, though, in the 25. So Gardner has made, tw this is his 24th career start, and his best finish is fifth at Barber last year, so good job by him. Here comes Commons on that high line. Well, Sam Young cleared for second. That might be all he needed, though, to be able to catch the 25 again. Pretty shot clears for third. Here comes Sky Commons, dual two winner. As Alexander and Rowe goes up the track in the 15. Peter Onjak, he hasn't, his best finish, he only has one top 35 finish this year, and he's, it's only his fourth career start in the race 13, and he's up here. Three wide again behind him. That's Jeffrey White in the Dish Network car this week in the 16. Battling yep, with Alex, or Alexander Rowe, he clears off turn two. I think Jeffrey has finished fourth twice as his best finish, and that was back at Atlanta in three units. It's been a struggle since, so it's good to see him up here. Mark George has been struggling too. He's up here. Meanwhile, uh, Sam Young go. has caught the 25. We saw so, this in Duel 1. These two battled there as well. Here comes so, the 34. There's a correction, Charles. They didn't just battle. They pulled away from the field battling. Well, and shot, the though. 34 back in front. Tell me if you've seen that before this weekend. 
Uh, I've seen it since the All-Star break. <laughs> As Pretty Shaw, Johnny Gardner now battle for second. It's Sky Commons trying to battle with Onjack for fourth. Five bonus points to the driver of the 34. Front Row Motorsports now leads at Las Vegas. <laughs> Who would have thought that? Pretty Shaw's best career finish is eighth at Road America, so she's having a good day. And, oh my Nearly god! Nearly contact with the 01 and the 25 as they come off she turn the, two. She put the bumper to him. So Pretty Shaw now trying to battle with Johnny Gardner, trying to get free of him. Not going to be able to do so. Gardner, that outside line definitely showing it's good in terms <laughs> three and four. And uh, I was a little surprised because she fell back to 16th and duel. But Sam Young is like, see ya, boys. As by the way. Um, Mark George now goes around the outside of Onjack. That would be for fifth. Shelton trying to make a move on oh. Alexander Rowe through turns one and two. Completes the pass. We haven't seen Shelton up here in a, a, since her Bristol win at all. She hasn't been really competitive, but now she's coming up to the front here. So that moves the 21 up into eighth. The 01 and 25 are still going at it for second. And this is uh, just helping the 34 break out in front. It is already up to seven tenths of a second. Let me remind you, before the All-Star break, um, Sam Young didn't even have a top 10 this finish this year. <laughs> As Shaw not quite clear down the back straight away, I think she'll be able to clear him no off into turns three. Sky Commons comes in. Well, the races he's made, three straight top 10 finishes, trying to make it forte. And that three wide move's not going to work, maybe. Uh, Jeffrey White tried to take up the middle. Thinks better of it. As Peter uh, Onjek was able to clear off turn number four. I see Henry Sanford Qualls. I think that's... Isaac Flickinger, too, coming to the pitcher back there. Here comes On the Jack seven. actually, I think, moved the 38 there through one and two. He's going to clear for fourth down the back straightaway. So it's he's the way to get a run. You have to get somebody in the bumper. Oh, 38 slow on that high side up there. Three wide. Mark George going through the oh, middle. No. You don't want to be three wide here. They make it work. On Jack, or sorry, George up into now fifth. That's Jeffrey White sixth. Shelton up to seventh as Sky Commons. Falls back to eighth. Pretty Shaw gained two tenths right there on the 34. That tried Gardner and uh, uh, Pretty gained tried a to tenth, catch Sam. Actually, trying she to just catch ran right her best there. lap of the race though here on lap on lap eight though. Yeah, that one's fast. The principal car, the other principal car, missed the race though. As she has not been able to shake Johnny Gardner though, on Jack joining them up here as well in that 07 car. Took another yep, tenth up. Uh, and just yep, as I say that, though, here comes Gardner to make it a battle for second again. Man, Gardner is, uh, what is his best finish this year? Let me see. Uh, uh, I don't think it's been good. No, Johnny's best finish is 13th. He only has one top 25. No, actually, is that right? No, I'm looking at the wrong one. James Qualls, no, Alexander Rowe, Henry Sanford, three wide for 10th. As they go off yeah, into turn number one. Gardner's only had two top 30s this year, so it's been a struggle for the day the least. Sanford ends up backing out of it through one and two. Now battles Zorline. That is for 12th position. Meanwhile, the 15 and the 26 battle for the 10th spot. We're going to have a lot of comers and goers in this race for sure. Here comes Jack James. But I'm Meanwhile, not very surprised. I'd just like to point out, James Qualls running in 10th. This is a car number that did not have a top 10 in over a season going before two last seasons. week. Now they're looking for two in a row. That's amazing right there. The 88 in the brand new, well, sort of brand new paint scheme coming up through the field here. Well, it's now a little bit more fan serviced sponsorship. Well, the 28 appeared as the best car on the list, and I'm not surprised to see Jack James coming toward the front here. Yep, right. Start, uh, where did he actually even start? Somewhere in the back. <laughs> uh, I think I, yep, I took the starting line apart off. Whoops. Rip. Maybe in the future, I'll actually keep that up. Uh, Zorline now puts the bumper to the 7 maybe. Battle for 11th down the back straightaway as the 01 continues to just take a 10th here and a 10th there out of that race lead. <laughs> Sounds like a song right there, but here comes the 28 car. Robert Yates, 7th and 11th and 13th right now. Not bad. Uh, no, not at all, especially for a team that struggled last season. Yeah, that's why they're shutting down after next year. Uh, 7th uh, car coming totally out of the high <laughs> uh, So let's see. It's down um, to seven tenths right there on the 34 car as everybody kind of fanning out here. Yeah, but I mean, I don't think Sam Young's going to complain too much. He's been out in front. Uh, plus, catching's one thing, passing's another. Uh, I think the 34 is too low on the sticks on post race inspection. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so it is starting to kind of single out a little bit, but 
as we saw in the duels, that does not mean that the battling will stop. That's right here, Matt Dixon, his first race back from injury. He's battling the 15 right here. It's Kyle Matthews, who the 48, we found out, has about six second place finish in the series without a win. Mary Shelley also in that battle, currently last scored in 18th, trying to take the 17th spot away from the 70. I don't think the number 08 has one in the Cold Vanilla Cup Series, so trying to get that feat done. I'm pretty sure this was also their first season running points races. Yeah, no one picked the Shane Helm car back in season three. Uh, no, it was supposed to run the uh, Bud shootout, but that just didn't happen because of computer issues. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. It, it kind of died. Uh, uh, Matt Duncan? Yeah. Matt Duncan currently in 21st. That was a like, break check through turns three and four there. I don't know what happened. Well, William Duncan's used to success here. He won in way back in season one. Matt Duncan was still in diapers when William Duncan won mm -hmm. in season three. Well, so, and Matt Duncan try under attack from Gene Sanford. Here comes William Duncan as well, going to try and push the 47 through, apparently. Baranowskis yeah, okay. also throwing her name into that mix, as I think I just saw it there. I think, yep, we are under caution. Derek Camel with issues oh. down the back straight away. That's a tough break for him right there. He's been really bad the last few weeks. He didn't and need that. his teammate Brian Hart has damage as well. Oh, man. That's going to be an interesting team meeting at MWR. Man, Kyderman. That's just why I put Kyderman in the 84 car. <laughs> He's not able to really make moves there as two of the NWR cars run into issues. Looks like Field is going to pit, so we'll watch the pit stops first and then take you back to show you what happened. Oh, gosh. So I have the Gardner, too. He's all the way back at the sixth. Well. I mean, that just could have... Well, we'll have to wait and see. As field coming down, looks like no one is staying out. One of these camera angles suck. <laughs> well, when you can't make a race, you can't afford camera angles. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm just looking. So, no one's staying out. As Sam Young going to have one of the earlier pit stalls, I think. The, oh, oh yeah, the old one won the pole. No, Gardner, no, won, the Gardner won the pole. So these are literally like in order of how they qualified. So it looks like four tires for the 34. Does anyone go two tires? Doesn't uh, look well, like it. Well, Samuel 34 is going to win the race off pit lane. The 07 is second, 16, 66. And it looks like the 21 going to be fifth off pit lane. Oh, Gardner. Contact 20, 88 and 25. Wait, that's not the first time we've seen that this season. As Johnny Gardner and Jonathan Zorline make contact coming out of the pits. So with that, let's take a look at what happened coming down the back straightaway to bring up caution for the first time today. Taking a look at what happened here to Derek Hamill coming uh -oh. off turn number two, three wide with the 99 of Will Hoyt. Oh. That Contact was there. Over. Turns and doubles solid. around. Uh, Dylan Young did a good job to probably miss that. Brian and Hart comes on along and on to two wheels. Oh, Ali Nelson gets a piece of it in the 40 as well. It's looking like that 92 is going to stay intact here today. And Zach Rogers might have gotten a piece of it in the 19. Now, who knows? Um, with that, we will either take. Well, actually, let's see. You said something happened in 25. Let's see. No? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, because he, he was third last time I seen. That's why. He must well, have he lost just, his money. Yeah, he lost it already by that point. Um, so with that, we'll take some onboards if there are any. If not, then we'll just take you back to the restart. On board, Chris Wilson. <laughs> Getting ready to go racing here on lap 21 of, or actually, well, what, what, what will be lap 22 of 67. No drivers took their cars behind the wall after that incident, so it is, uh, so all 42 cars are still running. Sam Young is the leader over Peter Onjak, Jeffrey White, Mark George, Pretty Shaw, Jessica Shelton, Sky Commons, Johnny Gardner, James Qualls, and Jonathan Zorland, top 10. Jack James, Kira Arenthade, Alexander Rowe, Kyle Matthews, Henry Sanford, Mary Shelley, Matt Dixon, Gene Sanford, Matt Duncan, and Isaac Flickinger, top 20, with William Duncan, Bill Bragg Jr., Henry Williams, Algebra Anastasius, Tim Randolph, William Brock, Stephen Paul III, Jesse Turner, Max Anderson, Zachary Fitzwater, and just showing you the 
bottom 12 drivers. Uh, worth noting, 55 as you can say, as you can see, no hood on their car, so it'll be interesting to see how that affects them. As the pace car is off and under control, the Makoto Chevrolet for Front Row Motorsports of Sam Young, and we are back to racing. Uh, yep, an interesting start back here. Well, remember, you can't pass to the left of the car in front of you before yeah. you get to the line. Uh, we'll have to see what the th what the uh, officials decide to say though about the 38, who ended up passing both the 01 and the 21 on yeah, that restart. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. As right Jeffrey White slow through three and four on the inside line. Yeah, allows Onjak to get back up in the second. Mark George also grabs third away from the 16. Definitely makes pitch strategy interesting with that caution because now they mix up mix up the laps they can go now. Uh, well, true. Uh, pretty Shaw now trying to get that spot back away from the 38 as James Qualls is trying to take a spot away from Shelton. Yep, here they come up here. Is Gardner actually trying to work his way back up there? He had a slow pit stop. Well, and remember also contact with the 88 on pit lane for the GoDaddy Chevrolet, so we'll have to see if that affects him at all. Ah, he just damaged that fender a little bit. He's all good. As Quaz oh, will slow through one and two, that opens the door for Gardner. And they're three wide off wreck. turn two. That's going to be a wreck. Oh, we see the same issue in the, with Kiderman and, and Abrahemium. And, oh, no, they're going to make it, though. They make it work as Gardner now takes the fight back to the 15. And it's Onjak and Sam Young who are breaking away at the front Peter of the field. Peter Onjak. Peter Onjak. <laughs> as here Boom. comes the 07 looking for the race lead off turn two. If I was Allie Nelson, I'd quit. <laughs> <laughs> Side by side, down the back straightaway into turn number three. Sam Young gets the run, though. And that's going to allow the 16 to try and catch him. Excuse me, what? Here comes... Peter Onjak. Peter Onjak hasn't made a race since both sport. Well, he made this one. Uh, <laughs> battle for fourth between Sky Commons, Mark George, and Jessica Shelton. As Commons Jeff clears off turn number four. Now the 21 tries to battle the 66. Jeffrey White's in his best career finish spot right now, and so is Pretty Shaw. Uh, 16 would better it today if he finishes there, right? Correct. His As best finish. George now is going to clear for fourth, it looks like. Sam Young is asking if they're lapping the 07. Mm -hmm. as, I, as I said that, never mind. Shelton actually is the one that clears off turn number two. So the inside line, definitely where you want to be in turns one and two, but it's the outside line that you want to be uh, in three and four. Correct. And so Jack it just James depends on best. if you can clear him, which I actually, I love it when we get a track that sets up that way. To, yeah, to Jack, be told. Jack, Jack James' is best grip finish is fifth at Richmond. Three wide back what here. This is a mess of cars. Both Duncan, Zorline, Henry Williams, <laughs> How is Baranowskis, and Brock. The three Gibbs cars are three wide. <laughs> well, the fourth one missed the race, so. Isaac Flickinger going up the bottom of that as well. As Matt d gets a spot away from Dixon. Just uh, Gene Sanford also trying to m move up through the field back there. We have Chris Wilson. He hasn't been able to come to the front yet today. Uh, Kiderman and Pollard moving away toward the bottom here with Tristan Wilhoy, who caused that last wreck. Oh, true. As uh, this one kind of calmed down from what I'd seen, Brock going to be able to clear. How about Matt Duncan up here? He hasn't really been too... He, well, Matt, lessons learned from William, I guess. Well, and right now is following in the tire tracks of that 31, actually. So, right now, Dun William runs 15th. Matt runs 16th. Well, Matt's best finish was fourth at Bristol, and then he only has one more top 20 this year, so... Battle between Bristol. the two Hendrick teammates right here as not hasn't been much love lost between these two this season either. Kyle Matthews, Johnny Gardner. Kyle Matthews is going to get the 10th spot away. The 48 to ask if the 25 actually made the race, and that's or that's Dylan Young in the car. As battle uh, for go. the top spot once again, Sam Young though yeah. is going to clear the 07 down the front straight away once again. Uh, Sam Young might be getting the Fitzwater treatment pretty soon if he keeps winning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and Jeffrey White now has caught them as well. Here comes Sky Commons as well. Local, yeah. Las Vegas local, even though he will usually still say that Auto Club is what he defines as his home track. 
I don't think he's ever won in a mile and a half, but he did win Cleveland last season. That's his last win so far. And a Red Bull car, too. Uh, Shelton actually has gone up in the fifth and is kind of in her own little zip code there a little bit. Half a second down from, or she was a half second clear of the 0-1. Uh, gap holding firm a little bit with the race leaders. She was only 2,000 slower than Sam Young the last time around. The real question is, where's the 55 car? Uh, actually, they'll catch Ooh. the 37 first. Funny how to her. Uh, she's also a lap down, so mm. issues for Kira Arenthade in the second front row car. As Sky Commons is going to go for third into turn number one. Will he be able to get, clear those? The question. You no, know, Charles. I guess I think they're going with the saying: "If you ain't first, you're last." Mm. Well, they're first and last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a team do that in a race either. Um. I don't think so on that one. As Jeffrey White pulls the crossover now on Sky Commons, Bow for third rages on. Rookie versus veteran, always the best bows. We're hitting the halfway point of this race. As Shelton trying to look on, trying to also find a way to catch these two. Jeffrey White going to not quite clear down the back straightaway. It's going to leave the door yeah, open there for Sky Commons into turn number three. Yeah, if you get turned in the middle of turn three, that's it. You're going to get plowed into, so mm -hmm. don't want to make that move. Yeah, just ask Tom Shelley, right? Yeah, seriously. Tom As still, Shelton is catching this battle now, so she'll be able to try and throw her n name into a top three spot maybe by the end of this one. Rumor said he's still, NASA still has him listed as an inanimate object flying. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey White unable to clear the 38 yet again going off into turn number three. Yep, and although he's going to clear off turn four this time, and Mary Shelley's not like seeing in this one. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, back here, Pretty Shaw actually under attack, going to lose sixth to Alexander Rowe, maybe even going to lose seventh to Jack James. Yeah, that's why I know that. So, um, yeah, not bad. Uh, speak and speaking of those Yates cars, it's Sky Commons who actually has the fast lap of the race at twenty-seven zero eight six. Well, the 34 has been ahead so much, you can't get a draft laugh to be the fastest. Mm -hmm. And the 07 has not left that 34's bumper since the restart. Yeah, he's been very... The 07 didn't run in season... The 07's last win was with Will Lewis at Bristol last year. As uh, Sky Commons going to clear yet again off turn number two, and that one is going to be very easy done. So I think that might do it for the battle for third for now. Uh, yep. Uh, Jack As James they end up losing so much time, they're a full second back. <laughs> now we'll see if those three cars can catch these two up front. Peter Onjak is there. He just cannot pass them. Uh, 37 has cleared the 55, so now the 55 is the next car that they would catch. As here uh, comes go. Onjak down the back straightaway. Ah, ah. Peter, uh, this is that would, this would be a bigger shock than Momo here, how bad the 07 is. As not clear down the back, here comes Sam Young once again off turn number four. They're going to drag race to the line. It will be the 34 who leads the lap. Am I sure? Am I, am I watching the DQ race or am I watching the actual cup race on Charles' channel? As Sam Young not clear yet. Here comes Onjak once again. Actually, it will be the 34 that clears down the back straight away. Yeah, he's trying to get on that quarter panel. He just can't do it. Amazing battle for the lead, though, right now, as that might help the 38 and 16 catch up a little bit. Yeah, 07, just the high side. As, is so by the OP. way, 15 and the uh, 28 have dispatched the 01. The 01 has now fallen all the way back to the ninth position. Well, I'm not surprised at that one. So uh, I think now we're starting to see the 01 that we saw in the duels. Yeah, they're showing uh, their Actually, strength. now they've actually fallen back to 11th. Yeah, Matt Duncan up to ninth. Good run. Oh, yeah, Duncan. that's what's happened. Matt Duncan not only cleared the uh, 31, but has also uh, gotten into the top 10. And he's Lucifer now with that 666 number, too. Uh, oh, well, yeah. So, <laughs> thankfully, that lap time not the same. As <laughs> they're side by side up front again, Onjak's going to clear down the back straightaway. What? New leader at Vegas, but here comes Sam Young with a crossover move into turn number three. Was a strategy. 34 going to try and use the 55 as a pick, I think, but it's not going to work. Oh, my God. The 55 throws the block. Here comes the 38. It's going to be a wreck right here. Oh, someone's going to go up the hill here. As Peter Onjak does lead the lap, that might oh, be his first career doing? lap led. 
that that's 55 the first finally gets out of the way. Oh my god, what what a oh god. By the way, the sixth is up to eighth. Holy crap. Peter uh, on Jack. So on Jack now leads. Sammy uh Sam Young is second. Sky Commons third. 34 is gonna hang it in there, I think. Try and get the run into turn number one. Still side oh. by side. On Jack is finished this year in three starts. Uh 36th. A sixth and a 41st. He's missed the last four races and he's up here. 34 battling. has Top not. Five. 34 didn't clear. How oh, that's under a freaking blanket. Right you can even put a blanket over it. Great battle for the lead here. Uh, internet, my internet's starting to die a little bit on this. Great. Um, that's not good. Not really well, because we you're starting that. to go static. That's why I'm saying it. So I think it's that's on my oh. end. Uh, Sam that's Young now clears for the race lead. Sky Commons puts the bumper to the 07. Three wide for third down the back straightaway. <laughs> they split on Jack right there. Poor on Jack. <laughs> As now I think Peter Onjek's trying to play. To oh, he came back though. I think <laughs> I think Peter Onjek's playing to tell the truth. Holy crap. As here by comes Onjek. Matt Duncan trying to take the seventh spot away from Jack James. What's up with everybody? 58th and lower to the points up here battling. Uh, as they are starting to clear the 55 as well, so Matt or William Duncan oh, now. Oh, no, watch out! Oh, Barry. that was close. Oh wait, nearly no. took out the 55. They have to be uh, one Jeffrey more White stop. is up to second. Sky Commons is third. Peter Onjak fourth. Shelton fifth, and Alexander Rowe in the 15 has caught them. Caution flag Where just flew. Wrecked oh, on the so back straightaway. Algebra Nauskas is in it. I'm gonna bet you do with the 55 right there. Allie Nelson might have been in it. It's hard to tell at that point. It's like a single car right here, but this takes out the pitch strategy element. Uh, as I think it does. Looks like a multiple car spin though down the back straightaway. And the leaders are going to pit again. And oh, somebody, no, that's 55. That's 55. Damn you, 55, getting my hopes up. And so we'll use the pit lane one to try and see if anyone stays out. Yeah, then you're going to need tires. Anybody go try two, though? That might be a call. That might be an option. Is that, oh, that's the 37. That's got to be. Uh, there's a little bit of separation though this time for where the 34 is compared to who they're racing. Oh, 15 and 07 making contact <laughs> on the pit entry. Oh, that's a brutal. It is a tight pit road. Uh, it's going to be four tires for the 34. Here comes the six down the pit lane. There's the 21 exiting. Oh, oh 34 gets held. And it's the 38 who's going to win the race off pit lane. Right Jeffrey there. White, good. Jessica Shelton, Matt Duncan, the top four, and the 34, our dominant car of the day, will restart in fifth. Ouch. So with that, let's take a look at what happened to bring out the caution for the second time here today. Taking a well, look at what happened coming off turn number two. Oh, Baranowskis makes contact with her teammate, <laughs> William Brock, and then gets just clipped by the five. So I guess South Cole is the teammate police right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then Baranowskis spins back up in front of the field and is going to get lucky that no one hit her. Uh, that is for sure right there. It's, oh, oh, Jesse my God. Turner. Oh, my God. Jesse Turner. Uh, yeah, so no one ended up hitting the 11. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll investigate what happened to the 37, why they had to pit. Um, but other than that, we'll just take you back to the restart. Ready to get the restart on what will be lap 50. 18 laps to go when we take the green flag. Sky Commons is the race leader. Still no retirees, but we will have two lap cars there in the form of the 55 and the 37. Jeffrey White is second. Jessica Shelton is in third. Then it is Matt Duncan in fourth. Sam Young, the dominant car of the day in P5. Peter Onjek, Kyle Matthews, Mark George. Jack James, William Duncan, the top 10, with Mary Shelley, Chris Wilson, Pretty Shaw, Alexander Rowe, Henry Sanford, James Qualls, Henry Williams, Isaac Fickinger, Tristan Wilhoy, and Max Anderson, top 20. Jonathan Zorline, Johnny Gardner, our pole sitter, along with Ethan Kyerman, 23rd. Gene Sanford, William Brock, Seth Cole, Matt Dixon, 
Zachary Fitzwater, JT Bryant, and Ryan George, the top 30. Dylan Young, Adam Flickinger. Actually, just to kind of show you who's where. Lap cars are going to definitely make it interesting right now. Uh, I would imagine so, as although to be fair, 55 was probably far enough off the pace where 38 should be able to clear before turn one. As pace car is off, leaving the field under control is Sky Commons, the Vegas local leading here at Vegas. And we are back to racing. Good restart for the six, maybe. Whoa. Yeah, everybody passed. Yeah, that was a really good restart. Oh, no. Or did the oh, six God. get too good of a restart? Although it's going to there's going to be too wide in front of him. It's the 34 who actually follows his teammate through to get into the third position. Shenanigans. Uh, 55 ends up blocking wow. the 21. The six is blocked up there. 48 oh, and the 22 oh, as Jeff well. Not caring. Oh, God, 55. What are you doing? And Brian Hart finally getting out of the way there. Uh, that's unfortunate that's, for Matt Duncan. That's really not is. That was a great run going for him. Yeah, that is, but that's not getting out of the way, per se. Well, he was getting out of the way in that corner, at least. As this is a battle for the fifth position right here between the 66 and the 31. Matt so Duncan. William Duncan, a great benefactor out of all that, went from 10th to 6th. It's been about seven. Meanwhile, here aren't they trying to get up here to the race leaders? Yeah, it's been about seventy-three races since Duncan's last win at Thornton season three, so it's been a while for him. Uh, so remember, this is not a battle for position. As Peter Onjak, Sam Young, gonna re-engage on their battle for position. Yeah, Peter Onjak's like, I want this. This would be for third right now. They were battling for the lead earlier on. Squires Mark George now gonna try and take the fight to the 07. As 34 now going to try and push the 37 down the front straightaway. Maybe try and look for the, well, maybe not. I was going to say try and look for the way around. Going to go to whoa, the back whoa, bumper of the 16. Whoa. 34 trying to go up the middle. Three wide for second down the back straightaway. That's going to be a wreck. 34 is going to get pinched. Well, uh, it's the 34 no, in not. the middle through three and four. Going to get two for the price of one off of this. 34 back in the P2. <laughs> Yeah, and now they're trying to go by the outside of the 37 here. Well, now the 37 is going to try and chase down the 38. It's going to be Peter Onjek and Sam Young battling for second. Onjek is going to be able to clear off turn number two. Mark George now trying to take third away from the 34 car. Where the hell did the 08 come from? <laughs> well, right now running in seventh as Onjek now tries to set his sights on the 37. Yeah, Sky, Sky's pretty low in the points, isn't he? Is he in the top uh, 30? I don't think so. Caution, 34th, caution. 34th, this caution flag comes out again. Big wreck in oh, turn Jesus four. Baranowski oh, Jesus Christ. Hamill. Will Hoyt involved. Oh, God, it's huge. Adam Flickinger is oh. in it. Johnny Gardner, the Johnny pole sitter. Oh, you hate to see that for Gardner. So another possible good run, all for naught. And I think the 34 is probably one of those drivers that loved to see this one. Because now it's going to be that. another shot. And guess what? I'm looking at the laps. I'm thinking this is going to be a single file restart. Oh, boy. <laughs> so that with that, crackle. let's take a look back at what happened as the leaders do not pit underneath this caution. Let's see what for happened sure. to bring out the caution for the third time today. And we're well, back taking a look at what happened coming off turn number two. It's going to be Jonathan Zorline that gets into the 99 off turn number two. Uh, no. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yep. And then Gardner gets a piece of it. And then cars in the front of the field are not going to blow. Well, Johnny well, Gardner flying in the apron. Well, so we'll watch Will Hoyt's part Ooh. first, uh, and then we'll go back to Gardner. So Will Hoyt not is going to slide back up. He's trying to hold him. Oh. oh, gets the double zero there. And then Johnny. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. How did the 55 get through that? Oh, my God. Gardner, no break, did it into turn three. Well, uh, yeah basically <laughs> so Gardner this line was never gonna work send it to Tommy Baldwin oh, racing. oh Matt my. Dixon William Brock oh what a save almost almost saved it and then just can't hold the brakes oh Adam Flickinger oh oh, oh no oh and Baron oh, Nelskis as well that car weight shifted right there that hit was so big and then some people were in the grass up here oh that was Baron Nelskis that takes to the grass 
I can't believe the 11 still driving. The double zero almost gets the wreck again. <laughs> yeah, so Baranowskis is the one that actually goes and does some lawn work here on the front straightaway. Well, I think that needs Charles needs to do that to get some extra money for the 05, mm -hmm. not Baranowskis. So with that, though, we'll take some onboards, and then if there are any, and if not, we'll just take it back to the restart. On board, Isaac Flickinger. Ready to get back to racing here as we actually have exactly 10 laps to go, so it'll be nine to go when we get the green flag. Drivers out of the race after that last incident are Alger Baranowskis, Johnny Gardner, Adam Flickinger, and Derek Camel. So it'll be another rough race for Derek Camel as he finished 39th last week. If I did the math right on that. I believe you did. Uh, yeah, 39th. So Sky Commons is the race leader over uh, Peter Onjek, Sam Young, Mark George, Jeffrey White, William Duncan, Mary Shelley, Jessica Shelton, Jack James, uh, Pretty Shaw of the top 10 with Matt Duncan, Henry Sanford, Kyle Matthews, Max Anderson, Henry Williams, Gene Sanford, Alexander Road, Chris Wilson, Jonathan Zorline, and William Brock, the top 20. Let you see the rest of the running order right now. Uh, 37 and 55 are still one lap down. And I believe, yeah, the 99 also lost a lap in pit repair, so. Yeah, but they're way out of the way, so they're not going to be a factor. Well, the 55 and the 99 are the last two cars in line. 37 was up to speed, so there's that yeah. as well. So it's not like she's going to be causing too much of an issue here. As we are set to go, and back to racing here once again. Wow. What a restart by the 37, the 07. A little bit too good. Here comes Sam Young looking for second already on the restart. The rest, whatever we did, you did for the dude, the restarts are incredible right here. They are just anticipating it so well. As Sam oh, Young no. not oh, going to no. clear, though, down the back straightaway. Mark George going to come along, try and help the 34 into turn number three. 34 Mark tried to balance her, his teammate, but 37 gave him no slack there through three and four. Uh, Mark George's only career winning game in Texas last year is trying to get a second one. Sam Young won at Barber last year, so he only has one win himself. Uh, Daytona 500? Who? Sam Young. Oh, he, re he won that season two Daytona 500? Yeah. He's been around that long? Yes. Oh. Damn, it's been a rough night. As, uh, as Peter Onjek now <laughs> clears for second. Oh, 37 is going to be a big factor in this story. Well, and Aaron, they going to try and get her lap back from Sky Com as they go into turn number one. That's going to open the door for Peter Onjak. What? Onjak what? to the lead. What? With just a handful of laps to go, the 07 leads going into turn number three. Is is this the real life or this is fantasy, Charles? Well, I mean, in a way, yes, to both. Uh, six <laughs> laps to go at Vegas. Onjak leads over Sky Commons. Let me remind you something. Peter Onjak is 60th in points, 80 points ahead of the 07 75. 07 now going to try and lap the 37 once again. If, if 07 racks off the 37's bump right. Oh, never mind. Sky Commons now trying to lap the 37 as well. Aaron, they not doing the world justice as a good lap car here. Well, I, I'm assuming Peter Onjak is just going to hop in the RCR cars for the next 13 races after he misses all of them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right now, there are... There's five laps to go if my math is correct. 38 now having to deal with the 37, though. Yep, that's As all Mark George is battling Sam Young for third. Sam, uh, having Sanford up into the top ten. Yep, the seven's up there. Aren't they not giving the 38 any slack at all? Common still having to battle the 37. And virtual middle finger is going out the window right now. Aaron Thade is a lap down in 36th position. The 38 finally going to clear off turn number two. Here comes Mark George as well. Yep, William that was Duncan not, now up into the top five. That's not going to be an appreciated move right there. Um, as George puts the 38 car up the track, Bal for second. The most aggressive if, driver in the field showing it once again in that 66 car. Yep. Uh, if you would have told Three me going Three laps to, this, to go for Peter Onjak. 
You know what? Here's the thing. Brett Momo won his third career start, I and now Peter Onjak trying to do it in his third career fourth. start. You said fourth earlier. Yeah, fourth. I'm sorry. Uh, Sam Young now going to try and take the fight back to 38. That would be for third. Can Mark okay. George close the gap on the 07 enough? So Two uh, laps to go for Peter Onjak. Brett was too. Momo, all he wants to see is the white flag. He's not going to make the chase, but this will be a big confidence booster for the 07 car. And by the way, he pulled away on that lap. Peter Onjak, his best, he got a sixth at Road America. His second best finish is 36. He has 19 Qs this season. What a story. Holy Coming crap. Coming off turn number four. The caution flag is not out. Peter Onjak will see what? the white flag in Vegas. You know, this is the reason why I like doing 62 cars. As Aaron Thade makes the move on the 66. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on a side note, I like to do 60 to give a lot of guys a chance because most notably the 07 would have not been picked if we did 42 cars. And here he comes off the corner. The biggest upset. Going into to turn number Roma. three. Off turn this? number four. Peter Onjak came into this one 60th in points. He wins at Vegas. He wins the Shell Pennzoil 400. Uh, what is this, these odds? 5,000 to 1 and Peter Onjak wins. What? Is this the real life? Mark George ends up second. Sky Commons third. William Duncan fourth. Mary Shelley ends up in fifth. Jack James out of in sixth. Jeffrey White Almost. seventh. Henry Almost Sanford eighth. Finish. Sam Young in ninth. Oh. And it will be Jessica Shelton taking home the final spot in the top ten. Um, I, I, I just, Your final I don't thoughts, believe Steven. that. Uh, uh, my final thoughts is, I could Brett Moma are just you want to try that again unbelievable this year, and, but the, both of them, uh, I can't believe it. Peter's not going to make the chase. He's way too far back, but still a great run for Onjak. Mark George, his best run since Texas last year. Commons with a top five. Duncan is probably going to be amazing at this track next year now. So I'd just like to point out, because he was talking about how far back. Um, coming into this one, uh, oh, actually, I was looking at Robert Pollard there. That, went, that would help. Um, Onjak was a little over 500 points out of the <laughs> top 30. Okay, but still, a good confidence booster. Say. Jack James, one spot away from his best career finish. Jeffrey was three. Sam Young had the best car, but just fell bad. Mac Duncan needed, really needed this run as Brett Momo takes over the DQ point lead this weekend. Uh, try to battle with him for that championship. Anderson, never seen Vegas before. He missed last year. Great recovery for him. As we go to the bottom, some tough breaks. Pollard was 24th. Kiderman, 27th. So, better points than uh, the DNQ could give you. Hamill with another struggling race. Flickinger and Gardner, another bad one. Will Hoyt's going to have a day in the crappers. That's not going to help 99 and him in his chase hopes. Allie Nelson now officially at 92 races. Next weekend, she will beat Gerard's record. She will attempt she to can, uh, pass Gerard. Attempt to. And there's no guarantee because next week we're going, going to Ontario, which she has not made the last two years there. So well, it was And definitely... truth be told, also, we're looking at the the streak to get that first career win uh it's still a long way to go even just to catch gene sanford for longest winless drought at period. least gene won but uh matt dixon also aside he is 21st in his return but like i said it was definitely a good vegas weekend we had a good uh sam young won a bunch on jack with i, I can't believe on jack won i definitely the first win for rcr in a long time too so good job um... for them well, that's actually not true because Steve Paul won three races and Will Lewis, so that was a false statement. Well, first win yeah, this it's the first win of this season, and who would have guessed it would have been the 07? Yeah, nobody in the planet Earth would have guessed that. I think this is – I did they win with Momo Curry? I don't think so. You know, it makes me really glad that I put that $5 bet on the 07 now, huh? $5 bet? Yeah, I mean, like you said, it was 5000 to 1, so I just put the $5 bet on it because why not? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's how the 05 is going to attempt Ontario next week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, it was a good weekend. Looking forward to go back to Canada. And last actually, year, I believe be Gene told, almost we, we'd won. We'd be in real life if we were actually, if this was actual had betting odds, we'd be ineligible to bet on it. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, next weekend, Gene almost won last week. So Charles, definitely looking forward to go back to that track. Uh, so with that. Congrats to Peter Onjak on getting his first career win in his fourth career start. 
like I said, 60th in the points coming in for him. So that's well, going to take a massive jump. Well, uh, one follow up. This is, like I said, on Jack was one of the last people to sign up. And this is why I like to have a 62, as many as many as the season portray, because we would not have chances to have guys have wins like this. You know, what's really Jack. funny. I, I'm we're, we're taping this live and about the middle yeah. of August. Um, on Jack was already saying he's so far behind on this. So, on Jack, I hope you catch up to this one. I really do. Uh, hopefully, yeah. it's message not like till September. Message on, yeah, message us on Facebook. Let us know when you win the race. I don't even know. We're on Discord. I, I mean, message, we're on Discord. I'm on Discord too. I ping Kev every day to trigger him. So just message me. Uh, so with that, though, congrats <laughs> to Peter on Jack. I know Fitzy's going to be happy in the comments because it's at least an RCR win. Uh, <laughs> maybe they'll actually have all four cars make it for once next week. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> basically, a toss well, up Arc next week with it being <laughs> Ontario. Congrats to Peter on Jack on the win once and finally there. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't today for more gaming and racing related content. I'm Goran Fan 291 for Steam Paul III. This has been a production of the NRSL. We'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Miracles do happen.